the game absolutely poised very finely balanced indeed and I don't think anyone really knows what's going to happen well that's very close first ball and that's exactly the start that Curtly Ambrose and Richard Richardson would really have dreamed of Curtly Ambrose absolutely dead on target the first ball of England's second innings and Michael Allerton is going to do nothing more for the rest of this game than watch the rest of this couldn't have asked for a better start at all Curtly Ambrose immediately on target Allerton being hit plumb in front well there's nothing wrong with that at all Plum in front and England lose their first wicket on zero. Paper. There'll be enough happening out in the middle. Alex Stewart will be facing Kirtley Ambrose for the first time in this innings. And there's one there if they want it. That was wide of second slip. Richard Richardson setting a mixed field you might call it certainly not overly attacking and the events of that first over meant that uh, he didn't really need to be things just happened for themselves he's got two slips in there one man in at short leg and the rest two in the covers two on the leg side you can still see that all sailing one that's out Robin Smith has gone what more can you ask of Kirtley Ambrose if ever you've got a crisis send for Kirtley and that's the end of the crisis Robin Smith comprehensively beaten as he played forward England in complete disarray well Kirtley Ambrose a great fast bowler for the West Indies has done it again I've seen Robin Smith get bowled for the second time now in this series on the forward defensive and each time after the ball has passed, the stroke looks almost correct. But the gap was there, the ball went right through. England now 5 for 3. Ambrose wouldn't mind those three runs all that much. What that has done is put Graham Hick back on strike. And we all know the history of the Curly Ambrose and Graham Hick confrontations. I would think the more confident of the two would certainly be Kirtley Ambrose. Kirtley Ambrose knows it's out. That's a thin little nick from Graham Hick. And this man Ambrose can do absolutely no wrong whatsoever. An indeterminate shot from Graham Hick really hasn't been his day at all. If it's anyone's day, it's certainly Kirtley Ambrose's. Well, uh, just as I said, Kirtley Ambrose wouldn't have minded those three runs. Graham Hick just pushing at this delivery just outside the off stump. Feet not really moving at all. And Kirtley Ambrose does it again. Graham Hick wouldn't want to be seeing this man too often. England now 21 before and not in a very good position at all.